That vote came down about 45 minutes ago after more than three hours of debate. CS8's Shannon Handy is live at City Hall in downtown San Diego tonight, breaking down the mayor's controversial proposal. Shannon. Carlo and Jesse, it's called Housing Action Plan 2.0. The mayor says it's aimed to bring more housing to San Diego by changing policies that make it easier and quicker to build homes. Now, last month, the council actually rejected this plan, but after making some changes, they heard it again today. And as you guys just mentioned just moments ago, they gave it the green light. You're destroying single family neighborhoods when you create and scatter eight to 12 stories throughout the neighborhood. I urge you to vote yes for HAP 2.0 because your vote is the difference between making San Diego accessible for all its community members or further denying them the dignity of affordable housing. More than 90 people signed up to offer public comment in person during today's city council meeting with another 22 online. At issue is Housing Action Plan 2.0, Mayor Gloria's proposal aimed at bringing more housing to San Diego by creating or changing policies and make it easier and faster to build homes. For example, the plan allows for the construction of more homes near transit, which would give more flexibility to build homes on public property and relax parking requirements for those projects. It incentivizes building homes on underutilized commercial sites like strip malls. It also allows developers to move affordable units off-site to another location. Developers can build much larger market rate projects than zoning would allow if they agree to build units for low-income people. Critics of the proposal say that particular portion divides the community. They should be built in together so people could learn to integrate together. It's segregation. But supporters say this plan is desperately needed as housing has become increasingly expensive and hard to find, including for local students. The cost of living in San Diego has increased so much that our city has now been ranked as the most expensive city to live in in the United States. At the same time, students at UCs, CSUs, and CCCs continue to live without access to affordable housing, many forced to live out of their cars or in trailers simply to go to school. After more than three hours of debate, the council approved the plan. And the final vote was seven to one with Jennifer Campbell voting no. Now, moments after that vote came down, Mayor Gloria did send out a statement reading in part, this series of reforms will boost the supply of homes and reduce the cost of housing, help our businesses recruit and retain talent, and put more hard-earned dollars back into the pockets of everyday San Diegans. Carlo and Jesse. Now, Shannon, you mentioned the issue regarding building lower income units in off-site locations. Were any changes made to that part of the plan? Yeah, Jesse, changes were made to specify that those lower income housing units had to be built within three miles of the larger project and be similar to the larger project. But again, opponents say that's not enough. They say that's still divisive because you're still putting the lower income units pretty far away from the regular income units that are in certain neighborhoods. They say overall this is divisive and this plan really benefits home builders and not people looking for housing. We know the fight over housing isn't over yet. Shannon Handy reporting for us live. Thanks, Shannon.